Okay, not a crypto related video this week, um, but a video about um, some of the equipment I use um, to get my YouTube videos up um, and how I'm going to um, upgrade that system because um, uh, there's various things I want to do to it. Um, so on the floor down here, we have an extremely old Dell Optiplex 9020 small form factor. It's a, an i7-4770 with 16 gig of RAM in. And it was an ex-work PC that I was able to um, buy in an auction for around £40. So an absolute steal. Didn't have a hard drive in it. I put a one terabyte mechanical hard drive in it. And it's been running for, well, many years for me and doing the job. I've not found I need anything more. Now there are a lot of videos on the internet where people are putting these into uh, more fancier gaming cases using them as uh, low-end gaming PCs. Um, I'm not a PC gamer at all, but I do need to upgrade it into a better case. Um, and the reasons for that are, um, I want to put a dedicated GPU in. Uh, I do a lot of audio processing for music and I do a lot of um, video processing for my YouTube videos that could benefit from a dedicated GPU. It's very slow at the moment. So I want to get a GPU in there. In that small form factor case, you cannot get a dedicated GPU um, of any decent quality. Um, so that's one reason for it. The other reason is airflow. This thing gets very warm inside. The one system fan it's got and the CPU cooler cannot handle it when it's processing heavily. So it needs better airflow. So that's another reason. And ease of maintenance. Um, what I want to do, although this is the first um, conversion putting this into a new PC case, the um, second part of it will be that I want to upgrade the um, motherboard and CPU at some point. So I wanted something with good access to make that easy without having to take the whole machine apart. So um, without further ado, let's go and have a look at what this is uh, going to go into. Okay, and here it is, and it looks beautiful, I must admit. Um, it wasn't a bad price. I paid £114 for this MSI Velux uh, 100R. And it's a beautiful case. It's got a tempered glass front. And it's also got a tempered glass hinged, easy open sort of magnetic catch side panel which is on the floor behind because at the moment uh, it's off so I can get inside it. It's got comes with four ARGB uh, fans, three in the front, one in the rear um, which is good and uh, not only that but if we go around the other side which is also open at the moment it's got an ARGB controller here that can take I think it's six or seven in total it can control. Um, the back side here is, is brilliant. There are so many different um, rubber sort of feed through ports to the other side of the case for cabling. Um, it already comes pretty much well cabled with the, the top IO panel um, cables. They're already got these nice MSI um, you know Velcro uh, clips on them. Um, so it's really it's really well set out. I'm really impressed with it. There's two mounts here for um, SSDs, and then there's a removable, very easy removable. It's just a click out removable hard drive tray for a tray for a three and a half inch hard drive. Should you want to put one in, it doesn't come with a power supply. I'll tell you about that in a minute because that's as far as I've got for a minute. But we're going to talk about um, some of the issues you'll get when you try to um, upgrade. A Dell Optiplex 9020 and some of the other Optiplex versions into a case like this. Um, it's not a straight port over. There are a number of things you have to consider. Um, the first thing is that the Dell motherboard has an 8-pin power supply connector on it, whereas your ATX power supplies come with a 24-pin. Um, so you have to buy a converter for that, which is available on Amazon, eBay. That's one you need. There is also another converter that um, converts the um, PWM fan power onto the um, the SIS fan uh, header on the motherboard as well. That's easily available at those uh, same two sources. And then the third thing you need is a pack that has two um, sort of, um, what do you call them, where are they? They're basically um, 
pin converters. On the motherboard, there are several sets of pins for the the I/O on the top of the case, so things like your hard drive lights, um, power switch, and all those sort of things, and your USB three. And there's a, a pack with two of boards basically that you clip onto the motherboard that allow you to uh, put those um, newer connectors onto the um, Dell proprietary proprietary connectors. Um, all in all, those sets of three cost me £24 on eBay. Um, so that was for the two I.O. Um, mix changers, the um, PWM fan connector changer, CPU fan connector changer, and the power connector changer. So not bad at all, but you will need all three of those if you're going to attempt this with an Optiplex. Um, everything else should be pretty straightforward, but I've never done one of these, so we'll find out together. I know there's a um, thermal sensor on the board and they advise you to keep that and um, transfer that into this case so that you don't get any uh, error messages on startup and things like that. <clears throat> so that's the bog standard case. Obviously um, the Dell power supply in the Optiplex is absolutely lousy and not worth using, especially if you're going to put a dedicated GPU in. So it needs something meatier. So I decided to go for this. It's the uh, Corsair RM750E Gold, um, it's an ATX power supply and it's fully modular as well, which is brilliant. Comes with all the cables you could want and need. I've um, taken a selection of the cables that I do need, which was primar primarily the power connector, the 24 pin, um, and also uh, one PCIe in case I want to put a graphics card in that needs power, um, SATA cabling, to power the SSD and also to power the um, ARGB controller panel as well. That's also SATA powered. Um, and then some other connectors for um, power to the board for the CPU. So that's all I've connected so far to the uh, power supply. Um, there's enough room over the top of the hard drive here to hide all that cabling away. This one here, you can see, this is where I've had to convert the power from the 24 pin into this um, cable that I've had to buy to convert it. And I've fed that through some of these ports here through into the other side of the case. So if I swap the case round, we can have a look and see what we've got coming through. Okay, so this one here is the power coming through. So you can see I've converted it from the 24 pin to the eight pin motherboard on the Dell. Um, now this cable, when you buy it, comes with multicolored, various multicolored cables, as you can just about see there before the head. Um, it wouldn't have looked nice in the case. You know, if you're gonna build a nice case like this, you don't want that looking horrible like that. So what I've done is I've had some extra sleeving from a GPU mining build uh, rig build I did several months back um, and this is basically from the car industry and it's sleeve that's um, fire retardant very durable but also very flexible so I've just covered up those wires with a, a cut of that and you I think you can see it tidies it up and it's going to look nice when it's connected um, this one here I believe is the CPU yeah so that's the CPU power for the motherboard um, there'll be a connector probably to convert that in that pack that's come in that I still haven't received. And then we've got all the front I.O. stuff. So this is, um, you know, your um, HD audio, USB, uh, things like that. Everything from the, the I.O. at the top that's going to connect to the motherboard as well. So that's as far as I've got at the moment. I'm waiting on one more cable to arrive. Um, and then I'm going to start stripping down the Optiplex and get the motherboard mounted in here. Um, I've also got a replacement for the stock CPU cooler, um, a nice RGB one just to complement the case. Very cheap but um, a bit more powerful and um, should give better airflow off the CPU. Um, that hasn't arrived yet either but as soon as those arrive we'll start um, fitting those components into the case and getting this fired up. <laughs> 